Brett, when you sort of analyse that win on the weekend, what was sort of the overall feeling when you sat back a little bit? Um, one of relief initially, um, straight after the game. Probably the uh, the squandered opportunity. I think that's the second time this year we've sort of uh, the Richmond game and uh, now the Adelaide game where we've um, probably just missed those goals that are so critical. And then you just have to work so hard to um, to win the game when you could have made life a little bit easier. You mentioned after the game that Chris Yarren came off as a precaution with a cork hamstring. How's he looking for the Swans game? Yeah, he probably won't do much today because of um, you know um, giving him the best opportunity. I think we'll reassess him uh, Wednesday afternoon or Thursday, so we'll just have a look at that. We'll, but at the moment, I think he's fine. But uh, we'll have to see if he pulls up sore. We wouldn't play him because we don't want to risk him. But um, yeah, we'd love to have him in the team because he's so creative and that. So we'll just leave it to the the last minute. Yeah, he did. Uh, he hurt his quad again, so he'll at least miss one week um, with that. Um, he's getting a few more tests and things like that, but he'll at least miss one week. And was he close? He would have probably played this week, yeah. yeah. He nearly played last week. Uh, he was close to being the sub, um, and then we debated uh, about how much footy he's missed, so we just thought maybe one more game to top him up. So, yeah, that's pretty disappointing for him. Just following on the Bullets, was Brock McLean's form reasonably Yeah, well, solid, yeah, really good. His run was back into his game, he spread really well, so he'll come into uh, calculations via a Sydney team that uh, thrive on stoppages, so yeah, he'll come into calculations. Was there anyone else in that game who's, who's in contention? Um, Henderson was okay, um, Satanta was won a fair bit of the ball, but it was his second game up for him. Um, Lucas was pretty good, Armfield was good, and that was probably where it sort of yeah. falls away from there. Do you take a team up there, you mentioned about the, the contest, uh, congestion and stoppages, do you, do you have to uh, take a team that's tail large for, for the SCG? Yeah. yeah, we haven't played a lot of footy there, we played uh, probably two or three years ago, so um, yeah, it'll be a bit of a debate. I think you, uh, your ability to win the ball in close will be really important, but the balance to be able to maybe spread and run, you just seen what Wojcinski did up there in that wet, wet game, which was uh, pretty critical where he kicked three goals with his pace. So, yeah, I think there's a real fine line. If you go too much uh, contested ball, you become a bit too slow, and you still need your run and carry outside as well. We you use that game, you have to show any bets that, you know, this is what you can do against the Swans and and because obviously he's been um, under a little bit of criticism for his form lately. Yeah, how'd you rate his game last week? Well, I thought his, uh, yeah, I thought his pressure was certainly pretty good. He's, I mean, his pressure's sort of been there. It's just been getting on the uh, on the score sheet. Yeah, I think um, I think most of the forwards now are sort of outnumbered with the uh, players that get back, and Adelaide sort of push numbers back, which really clogged up some space, but. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. I thought Eddie's pressure was outstanding and I think he's still third in the competition for forward 50 tackles and if he keeps doing that and locking the ball in, he'll keep playing footy, whether he kicks one goal or ten. That's what we're after. Yep. Given it's the Swans this week, Brad, is there any, excuse me, out of the motion, the team that knocked you out of the fight, does that still exist No, anymore? that's gone. Um, that was last year. The game's changed so much um, just with now the sub rule and yeah, the personnel, different coaches, we wouldn't even look down that path, but um, no, it's nothing. It's a game that we, we should have won and uh, we missed our opportunity, move on. It's about 2011 for us. You've had a couple of good dress reversals for this one, a couple of real tight, yeah. you know, heavy, heavy duels. How do you regularly travel just on like, these last couple of games you've had? Against them or? No, no, just the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think uh, the battles that we've had with Collingwood and, and Essendon and Adelaide have really prepared ourselves for um, you know, a big combat game against uh, Sydney. I think the tackles will be through the roof and, and stoppage numbers are usually at least 10 to 15 up more than any other game. So, yeah, it'll be a lot of one-on-ones and you have to win your, uh, win your own footy. What do you take out of the fact that you, know, that, you, know, you score opportunities against Adelaide? Yep. Against Essendon, you probably didn't make the most of the opportunities that were there, but you've come away with a win and a draw. Like see, the old saying that you know good teams find ways to get the points when they're not maybe not playing well. Do you do you get a, do you get some encouragement out of the last couple of weeks in that respect? Yeah, I thought it was more 
yeah, the Essendon game, I think we kicked 4-7 in the second quarter, but we started poorly. So that was the evener. And then for the rest of the game, I thought it was fairly even. And then we got our nose in front and couldn't retain the ball. But uh, I thought, you know, if you go through the stats last week, we were, we were miles in front in a lot of areas of the game. It was more our execution to finish finish the, uh, the last play. And uh, when you have 30 shots to, to 19 and you only win by six points, yeah, we uh, we virtually hurt ourselves. So we gave the, the ball back. They uh, rebounded fairly well at times, but I, I think our form's pretty good. What do you put that down to? You mentioned it's been a couple of weeks in a row. Is it players thinking they're under pressure when they're not, or the conversion and just finishing off? Is there anything you can pinpoint why that happened? Um, I'm not sure. I, I think whether it's just a uh, uh, everyone focuses in on how the game's improved in a lot of areas, but probably hasn't in goal kicking and. Really, we sort of never had that problem over the last couple of years, but because I think we we're in the top three teams for accuracy in the competition. So this year, I think we're down near, close to near the bottom of the uh, competition for accuracy. Whether it's heat on the footy, um, I think you have to have a look how many set shots you're getting. We're marking the ball a lot more in our forward 50 than we have. So we're getting more set shots than we ever have, and we're not executing those uh, accordingly. So, you know, I can't put my finger on it, to be honest. I guess at least the next question, what, what can we do about that? Can you just get them out there and just, yeah, just, just off you go? Well, we have, three, we have three sessions a week and the players, uh, we've got a theory of uh, less more often, um, so they at least have 10 shots every time they go out and then even on the last session they have 10 shots. So they get 40 shots a week minimum on their goal kicking. We'll just have to keep chipping away and the wheel will turn. Brett, what's the emphasis you put on training to play Sydney at the SCG? Is there anything particular you, you work on? Um, I think it's more mentally because of where we sit with the turnaround. It's you know a, a six-day turnaround. Um, do we go and train for a, a combat sort of uh, encounter when it's a six-day turnaround? We'll only hurt ourselves um, doing that. So I think it's more about mentally preparing the group this week than physically preparing. Is it that much more difficult to win there than, say, ANZ Stadium? I don't know. We haven't won there for a while. In uh, yeah, we haven't won there for a while, so I think they're both hard to win it. Yep. Did the players have a few days off after the Adelaide game? Um, no, no, we haven't really had any time off. We've um, we've been business as usual. Um, doesn't matter if it's. Footy doesn't stop for anybody, so it doesn't matter if it's Easter or birthdays or what, it, the game continues. So we've got our bye coming up in a, a few weeks and we've got a little bit of a break um, with the St Kilda, between uh, Sydney and St Kilda game. So we'll give the players a, a day or so there to recover.